Hi, my name's Alex Sir with Thaddy Stevens College. Today I will be discussing various uh, EDM, G, and M codes and the differences between those that we've already learned on the Vertical Machining Center. So we're going to review current G code that we already know. We're going to introduce a new G code as well as a bunch of new M codes. Um, there are many new G and M codes, or there are many similar G and M codes. Uh, rapid motion, linear interpolation, circular interpolation, the G02 versus G03. Uh, cutter compensation, G41 being left, G42 being right. Cutter comp is going to be the same. Um, the H is going to be our value rather than D for calling up our wire comp. Uh, because it's not a cutter compensation, it's actually wire plus our overburn, uh, which so that's a little different. Our work offsets are G54 through G59, just like our other machine. Our absolute versus incremental, uh, one that just came to mind would be G20, G21, if we're doing, uh, if we're doing between metric and English. So all those are the same. Uh, some similar M codes would be the pauses and the program stops, just like if we wanted a, a forced stop versus a, uh, or a forced pause versus a program, an optional with M1. And then if we wanted it to truly stop, it would be an M2 or an M30 would uh, rewind our program as well. So those are all the same. We already have gone over those, so I'm not going to do that today. Um, the new G code that I'd really like to talk about and I will talk a lot about in my next video is G92 and that's going to set our G54 based off a of current location. Our S or E is going to become our power setting. So an S1, S2, or S3 is going to be the, um, the power setting that we're going to be utilizing. And you might say, well, why would you need three? Well, typically we're going to go rough around a part and then we're going to leave a small tab. We're going to go back around the part the opposite direction uh, with a different power setting to change that finish and our uh, dimensional accuracy. And we can continue to do that as many times as we want. And that's what most wire EDM jobs will uh, require. And then the H is going to be our cutter offset. and uh, Obviously, it's not a cutter in this case. It's a wire with an overburn. Um, another thing to mention, you might say, like, well, how do I know what an S1 is? How do I know what to put in there? Well, in our control, we're going to be calling up. We're going to set up what parameters we have. How thick of how thick is the material? What is the material? What size wire are we using? And it's going to give us a cut setting. And we're just going to reference that cut setting with a 1, a 2, or a 3 to keep our programming simple. New M codes. This is where it's a lot different, right? We're not turning on spindles. We're not turning on coolant. We're not uh, doing any of that kind of stuff that we do on a vertical mill. We're actually doing completely different M codes. So an M20 is going to thread a wire. So if I needed to go to various locations and re-thread, I could. Uh, most machines these days have an automatic wire thread, automatic wire cut function. Okay, so that's what an M20 does. An M85 is going to fill my tank. An M25 is going to turn my approach cut on. If I were to look at the side of a part and I have my, my flush cup here that's going to be this is going to have a jet of water coming down and a wire inside. As I approach that part, my jet of water is going to be deflected around there as I approach into my part. That's going to be a much different condition, and oftentimes we get a wire break. So an M25 turns on a lower cut setting as we enter our part, and once we're into the part, it turns itself off. So that's a pretty neat feature. Um, I would recommend that for sure. M81 is voltage on, M82 is wire feed on, M83 is flush on. One little note with flush is you need to have the tank full if you're going to turn your flush on or you get a shower. M90 is servo feed. 
as if I would highly recommend using M90 over M91, which is constant feed. M90 is going to sense how well we're cutting and it's going to vary our feed rate based on that and we're going to get a much better cutting experience. M15 is going to set what type of cutting mode we're in. So a P0 is what you'll be using right now because that's vertical. If I wanted to taper, say I was making a die and I wanted the same draft angle all the way around my part, I would use a P1 and I would set elsewhere in my control what degree I want my, my heads to be at. And then if I wanted a uh, four axis part where I'm enabling my U and V uh, so that my upper head runs completely independently of my lower head, I'm going to turn on a P11, which is called taper B, and that's going to be in full four axis mode then. So that's what we need to have at the beginning of our program. And the, the ones as we turn them off, we don't really need these unless we want to do something uh, in the middle of our program where say we wanted to cut the wire and go over and thread it again, we would use an M50. And sometimes re-threading with a full tank can be a problem, so you might want to drain and refill. But oftentimes, we aren't going to use these, the 41 through 50 in our program. We're just going to call up an M30, and it shuts everything off for us. So that's what I would recommend in that case. Um, I hope you tune into my next series on how we apply this in a program. Thanks for listening, and have a great day.